Hello everyone, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Pokemon Ruby. Um, yeah, so this is like probably my favorite Pokemon game out of all of them. Now, I haven't played anything like Platinum, Diamond, White, Black, whatever, because I don't know, I just can't get into them. But these are like my favorite uh, Pokemon games because it's the first ones I really got into and I owned for my Game Boy Advance. But we're just gonna be a girl, just because, I don't know, I like the girl sprite better than the boy sprite. But anyways, uh, E-L-L-A. Okay, yes. Okay, you're, oh, I was just moving to my hometown of Rue Little I get it now. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Oh, uh, well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me by my Pokemon lab. Okay, you know this family is welfare. When you can't afford transportation for your kid, so you just stick them in the back of a moving van. I mean, seriously, come on now. Like, I know you might be poor, but, I mean, I think you can do a little better than that. Uh, where are you, honey? It must be tiring riding the things in the route truck. Oh, this is a little route town. Do you like it? This is our new home. It's a quaint feel, but it seems like an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room. See, they're so welfare. Like, it's this whole surprise that, like, she gets her own room. Oh, boy. Yeah, I bought a clock. Yep. Mom chop. Is it man chop or man choke? I'm, I can't remember. Oh, it doesn't really matter, but we have a pink clock. And since time-based events don't happen in ROMs, it doesn't really matter. But it's like 11.16 as I'm recording this. And just so you guys know, um, I, I record these in like half-hour like sessions and that. So if like I do something stupid, and you're like, oh my god, why'd you do that? That's so stupid, don't do it. And I do it in like the next episode, it's probably because, yeah, I like recorded this all at once. But anyways, if you head over to your computer and go into your item storage, and withdraw, as in every Pokemon game except for like gold and silver and crystal, um, there's a potion there. Oh, what's this? Explanation mark? Come quickly. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad's will be a... Maybe Dad's. Dad's. Oh, it's over. I think Dad is on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes. One of Dad's friends lives in town. Prof Birch is his name. He lives right next door. You should go over and introduce yourself. <sighs> One thing I love about Pokemon is just... just you don't have to knock, just walk right in. It's like, just, I'm coming in, I don't give a fuck. Oh, hello, and you are? Da 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 da. Yeah, I can read my mind. New son. Uh, we have a new son about the same age as you. A new friend, his son is upstairs, I think. <laughs> Little delinquent, we don't know where he is. Oh, Pokemon for your sword. Do, 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 do. Hey, you! Who are you? Oh, you're Ella, aren't you? You lived in next door, right? I didn't know that you were a girl. Dad, Prof Birch, said that our next door neighbor is a gym leader's kid, so I assumed he'd be a guy. Sexist. Pokemon is sexist. Ow. I just poked myself in the eye. Holy crap, that hurt. Eh, let's go look out for Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Okay. Ah, oh, let's get out of here. Oh my god, my eye is watering. Can't believe I poked myself in the eye. Oh, here's some shouting down the road. What should I do? What should we do? Somebody has to go help. H help me. Do, 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 do. I like how I just like stare up north and like don't even pay attention. Hey, you up there, please help me. There's a Pokemon. And you get to pick your starter Pokemon. There's the Mudkit, the Mudfish Pokemon. They got Torchic, the Fire Pokemon, and Shriko. Now, if you want like a good sweeper that just like can own everything, but you'll have a little trouble at the start. Go with Torchic. Pretty decent Pokemon. Mudkip's a pretty good Pokemon as well. Shriko is probably the one I'd least recommend. That's just personal preference though. Well, you should go with Torchic, but today, in this LP, we shall be going with Mudkip. Because I did a little, like, playthrough thing. That's kind of breezed through Ruby. And Mudkip's actually pretty beast once you get him up to the higher level. But with this battle, you shouldn't have much of a problem. I mean, just tackle him a couple of times and he will go down. Poochianos, especially level 2 Poochianos, aren't really that hard to deal with. 
So we get a little EXP here. Not much loveless or anything, but it helps. Whew, I was a tall grass, so many, so many wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, oh, hi. Uh, this is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later. Uh, I've heard much about you from your father. I heard that you don't have your Pokemon yet, but the way about it earlier, pulled it off. Uh, I guess you have a father blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as for rescuing me, I'd like to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And we got Mudkip. Uh, yes we shall give a nickname. B I L L I A M Billiam. Naming it after my friend Bill, but his nickname's Billiam, so you know. Yeah, and now we pretty much have to go out to Route 103 and find Brendan, our rival for the game. He's not as intimidating as Gary Motherfucking Oak, sadly. But oh well. I always thought that would be a trainer battle, like right off the bat. But nope. Okay. Oh, Pokemon battle. Who's the first Pokemon you run into? Oh, Poochiana. Now this Pokemon, he's... I don't know, he's decent, I guess. You could catch him and use him at the start, but really, you won't have much use for him uh, uh, later on in the game. He's not that good, but, you know. He's a good th something to start out with, but I'm not going to catch him. Because really, I don't want him. Now, I'll probably be catching like some Pokemon that like I'll name after people, but I won't use them all the time. And, uh... I don't want to go in there. But if you want me to catch a Pokemon... Oh, let's talk to this guy. And he's going to take us to the Pokemon Mart in Old Dale Town, which we are at now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, oh, we got a free potion. Anyways, this is always saying. If there's a Pokemon you want me to catch, and maybe name it after you, or, you know, your YouTube name or something, just tell me, and I'll probably end up doing it. But you might not be used to the whole thing. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually quickly train up Billiam really quickly here. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we're back, and I just grinded up Billiam up to level 8. Uh, we learned Mud Slap, which is just, it throws mud at, <laughs> it's so dirty just throwing mud at people's faces, but it can lower their accuracy, so it's a nice little move to have. Probably won't use it that long. Well, not that long. <sighs> That's one thing I don't like about Ruby, so there's so many random battles. But here we have a Zigzagoon. First time we encounter this. No, we're not gonna run. But pretty much Zigzagoon. Zigzagoon. He's a decent Pokemon. Yet again, not one you'd probably want in a later battle. Like, later on. But he's a really good, uh, HM slave. So, I usually have, like, Cut and Rock Smash and that type of thing on him. But anyway, here's Brennan. We're gonna have our first rival battle. Hey, it's you. Oh, uh, yeah, Dad gave me a Pokemon. Since we're here, I'm in a little battle. I will teach you how to train this... Well, uh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Jeez. Okay, and as always, with every Pokemon game, he has the thing that's most effective against us. But yeah, this battle really shouldn't be a problem for you, even if you, uh... Like, are just level 5. But I don't know, you should get my Pokemon up to, uh... Does that say Bill Yen? Please don't- no, okay, no. It's just weird text. But anyways, the battle shouldn't be that hard for you. Um, it's really easy. And if you do, you have that potion. If you do need it, you have that potion that's there. Yeah, okay. Now, I probably won't be reading a lot of this stuff, just because it's tiring and shit. And I'm tired right now, so... If I'm awake and energetic, I'll probably do it. But we're gonna go stop at the uh, Pokemark here and buy some stuff. Okay, now oh, we're gonna buy some potions. We're gonna buy, nope, ah, screw it. We're gonna buy five potions. Now, potions, they won't really be that helpful later on, because they only heal 20 HP, but it's a nice little thing to have at the start here. Okay, and there's Brendan again. I'm heading back to Dad's lab now. Ella, you should hustle back too. Oh, Ella's gonna hustle. Ella, Ella. Hey, hey. Okay, I'm never doing that again, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, fat man. If you use a PC, you can store it in some Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Ho ho ho. Okay. Oh, hey. I heard you beat Brandon in your first try. That's excellent. Brandon's been helping with my research for a long time. Brandon has an extensive history as a trainer already. 
Here, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Ella received the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid Brendan goes with everywhere with it. Remember, my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records the data in the Pokedex. Why? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, except it makes no sense. <clears throat> huh. You got a Pokedex, too. Well, here. Well, then, here. I'll give you this. And we got some Pokeballs from Brendan. How nice of him. Bet you Gary motherfucking Oak would never do that. Okay. Now we can head off on our adventure. But I think we should go say goodbye to Mother first. Oh, poor Mother. Poor welfare Mother. Ella, Ella! Hey! Hey! Okay, I said I'd never do that again. Uh, did you introduce yourself to Prof. Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You're your father's child, alright? You look good together with Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll want to sit in your step. I'll switch shoes with the running shoes. Yeah, okay. Press B while running the running shoes to run next to pass. Live on the running shoes and race in the great outdoors. To think that you have your very own Pokemon now, your father will be overjoyed. But please be careful. If anything ha happens, you can come on. Go on, go get him, honey. I hope to never see you again, Mom. You don't understand me. Random Pokemon battle. Oh, and we have Wormpole. Now this is also one of the Pokemon that you'd kind of catch at the start and then just throw away later. It's not really that good. I won't catch him. I really just don't catch Pokemon I don't like or plan on using later on, so. And we gain 15 experience, not enough to level. So yeah, I'll probably be uh, using repels a lot in this LP just because the random Pokemon battles are so tedious and annoying. And I would cut them out, but I mean, it's just... So annoying. It's like way too much work just to do that, so I'd rather just get a repel when I can. Okay. Now we are headed off to Rustburg. No, we're going off to Petalburg. We got some trainer battles to do first. Our first trainer battle.